listing challenge 1000 listing at once with the fit file let's see if i can do this or not hi this is naushad from ecom clips in this video i'm going to show you how quickly and easily upload thousands of listings in such a way even if you're a beginner you can follow along and avoid those common mistakes First, we need to find the right category for our items. You can do it easily by checking the best selling listings of our similar items. Now in the listing, here we can find the categories they added. It is better to get ideas from here. Just copy this and save it on a notepad or something. We will need it later. Now we need to download a template file. So for that, go to Seller Central. From the catalog, click on Add Product via Upload. Now this page will appear. We are going to download the template from here. So click on the Download Spreadsheet. Now you'll see a lot of options. Our product is new, so we'll click on List Products that are not currently in Amazon's catalog. This is the search product type. Here we'll select the main category which is clothing for us. Click Search. Now browse via Product Category. We need to select our product type. We already copied the categories, remember? With the help of that, now select the categories. Once you find the right one, click select. Now from here, generate spreadsheet. It will take a while to download. Let me open the spreadsheet. This is the file we downloaded right now. After opening the file, the first thing you'll see the instruction tab. Here you'll find all the instructions. For your product listings, you'll need the upload images. In this tab, you'll find detailed instructions on image requirements like size, quality, and format to ensure the product meet Amazon standard. This is the example tab. You will get an idea from here. You should go through this instruction. Now you're in a data definition tab. Here you'll find all the details on how to properly fill out your inventory template. It helps you understand what information goes into each field so you can complete your bulk upload without any mistake. Okay, move on to the template tab. Uh, this is where we actually going to put all the data to list our thousand item at once. Now first is product type. This will already be there. Now fill up the seller SQ. I've already got the information in a separate sheet. Now from here, take the SQ and simply paste it into the template file. Okay, let me adjust the column. Wait a second. Now in the brand column, put your brand name. As it's a new listing, in the update column, we have to select update. If this is not new, only then we got to select a partial update. However, now I'm gonna add product ID. For that, I'm using UPC code or the universal product code. So if you're someone new and confused what is UPC and how you can get one. So basically this is a 12 digit code used to identify products. Each product has a unique product code. It helps Amazon track and manage inventory. I recommend grabbing your UPCs from GS1. But if that sounds complicated, no worries. You always can count on us for help. Just send an email and we'll take you from there. Now let's get back. Copy those from here and paste it here. Product ID type should be UPC for us. You can select whatever you are using. Next, item type. Give information accordingly. We have to fill up the product name column and this is the product description we have already collected our descriptions so we just gonna paste it here okay images here we have to give image urls so we need to create url links you can use this site to generate those urls now paste it here for the variation we are gonna create the first row parent under this all should be child variation all right in the parent SQ column, we are going to give child SQs and mark those as variations from the relation column. Now select the variation. Next, go to bullet point column. For each listing, we'll give five bullet points. We already created bullet points. Now we are just going to copy and simply paste it here. Okay, done. Now from the color and color map, 
we need to fill up the information here. You know, for most of the sellers, they found the variation section so critical because if you make a single mistake here, there will be huge mistake. Because you know, if they put the wrong size, the price will be different and customer will complain and you will get return bad reviews and a lot of issues. So be sure to cross check it properly. Okay. After that, we are gonna input all the sizes. So go to the size column and fill it up with the necessary information. Now, one thing about this template, the more column you'll fill, the better. However, we are just filling up the necessary column just for now to give you the idea. Anyway, now in the price column, fill it up with the price of your items. The next column is quantity. We are going to fill it up with zeros there is a reason for this. We'll do this for quantity assurance. Simply by giving zeros, we'll pause the sales for now. So that if any listing has an error, we can fix it while there is a time. Okay, I think you got this now. All right, we have updated the necessary information here. Now save the file. After saving the file, we have to upload it. For that, again, go to Seller Central, from the catalog, click Add Product via Upload. Now simply upload. Then select Submit Products. And you can see the processing result from this spreadsheet upload status page. You can download the processing summary as well. Here you can check the listing page to see what it looks like. All right, I think you've got the process down. You can do it yourself now. But for the listing, you'll need titles, description, SQs, UPC codes, bullet points, image URLs, and a lot of other things. Managing all of this while also focusing on your business can be a bit of hassle. So it will be a wise decision if you get help from an expert like us. You can get the same day appointment and talk to us about how we can use these strategies to level up your account. So check out all the resources from our website and give us a call today. We'll talk to you to solve your queries. So thanks for watching today. We will catch you on the next one. Till then, stay safe. Goodbye.